so hey everyone welcome you to the channel and in this this is going to be the second video of the chain link build program series right and the project that we're gonna take a look at is dolomite right what actually is dolomite you're gonna understand it what all services of chain link they use you're gonna understand those and uh, how are they gonna do and what all are they working right and how it's gonna benefit you and everything right so Dolomite here represent a paradigm shift in the DeFi landscape. It's driven by innovative architecture. It has a very strategic integrations. And, you know, this video, you know, delves into the core aspects of Dolomite design, its unique features and the future prospects. You know, we also we are also going to highlight its potential to redefine the way the users engage with the DeFi platforms. Right. So first, let's go with the architecture. Right. So it has a two-way architecture that is one is core layer then comes the or um, module layer right and the core layer basically comes with you know immutable security right so at the heart of dolomite you know basically lies its dual layer architecture right one is for the immutable security you know architecture uh, let me just change it right so the so the architecture here it's basically on two ways right when is the core layer that helps us with you know immutable security immutable security right then we have a modular layer that provides us with kind of flexibility right if i'm not wrong yeah, it's about flexibility and adapt flexibility adaptability right so you know let's talk about the core layer first so core layer basically it lies at the heart of dolomite and it's you know it's very ingeniously designed to offer both scalability stability flexibility so the core layer is immutable it ensures that the fundamental operations and security mechanism remain unchanged this immutability basically guarantees that the users can trust the core functionality to be secure and very temper proof now it forms the backbone of dolomite and it also provide a robust and unchanging foundation upon which other features and functionalities are being built. And uh, when you talk about the module layer, right, it's, you know, it's, it's basically a immutable core, you know, and this layer is basically designed to be very flexible and uh, adaptable again, and it allowed Dolomite to evolve and integrate new features without any disrupting, without disrupting the core functionalities. So this modular approach basically, you know, it enables the protocol to introduce new feature, integrate with emerging DeFi trends, it, and it also helps it to adapt to market demand very seamlessly. Now, it offers a very dynamic interface for users, for developers and integrators to interact with. It ensures that Dolomite can grow and it can adapt to the rapidly, rapidly changing DeFi landscape. Uh, with this, let's talk about the key features of Dolomite design, right? Key features. Those are very important. Key features, right? What are the key features? You know, when you talk about it is first of all, it's capital efficient, right? Capital efficiency. So one of the Dolomite's you know, standards feature is it's focus on the capital in efficiency now the protocols virtual liquidity system you know it's basically designed to maximize the use of capital by allowing the liquidity to be reused in multiple ways now users can earn multiple streams of yield simultaneously you know and they can leverage their assets to the fullest extent for example users can earn margin lending interest automated market makers pool fees and yield farming interest all at the same time you know you know, isn't it amazing? And you know, you're optimizing returns on their investments, right? That's how they do this capital efficiency thing. Uh, then the second things that they do is they have a very broad token support. They have a very broad token support, basically. So unlike many default protocol that support a limited set of collateral assets, Dolomite can uh, support thousands of assets. This includes stake derivatives. You can have, you can have, you can have interest bearing tokens. You have liquidity pool tokens. So the adaptability, adaptability basically here is to support such a wide range of assets, and it enables user to engage in more diverse and complex financial strategies. People ha are people have you know new op openings up for avenues. You know you can have the yield generation. You have better investment opportunities. Uh, 
but all this matters only when when you have a very seamless user experience right ux right so dolomite here prioritize the user experience you know it offers a very intuitive interface you know we have a very seamless integration users basically you know can manage the portfolios with a very great ease right they can utilize the advanced financial instrumentation such as uh, one click looping they can do the hedging automated asset swap so you know this user centric approach ensures that both novice and experienced user can ex navigate the platform effectively and you know very efficiently another important thing aspect is they have made a very strategic integrations and collaborations right number one uh, integrations let's talk about integrations when you're talking about it one number one is chain link right so chain dolomite has integrated chain link you know uh, one is the price feeds to secure its margin lending protocol it's a very critical component for its architecture now this integration basically uh, uh, offers several key advantages to being first is you get a very accurate collateral calculation so these price feeds chain link providing uh, these are very high quality these are tamper proof and these are essential you know for a uh, accurate uh, collateral cal calculations now this ensures the stability and reliability of the protocol during the volatile market condition security and reliability comes with chain links decentralized network of secure nodes operator these are very robust they have a robust reputation of uh, you know system of uh, which provides you with a strong protection against the data manipulation or out outages and they basically actually enhance the dolomite security framework second is they leverage ERC 4626 volts right uh, let me just write completely volts right now Dolomite is utilizing this you know it's a very standardized standard thing for the token yielding bearing volts it ensures its lending markets now the strategy choice bring several benefits see first is they are unlocking liquidity right now users can borrow against a wide variety of vault assets you know they can unlock liquidity from assets that would otherwise be dom do, uh, dormant right and second is automated price updates see they have chain link automation right and which is helping them to secure these vault assets right you know they have the automations from chain link you know uh, you know so 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 they have the chain link automation which is helping them secure you know those wallet assets you know by 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 executing the price updates on chain on chain based on the specific conditions they ensures accurate timely data for collateral liquidation uh, calculations mm, other things can be they have capital efficiency in depth right they have earning they you can have earning multiple yields you have layered yield strategies so let's also discuss about these when you are you know, onto the video and we're going deep so let's go a bit more deep right number one thing is capital efficiency you did see again capital efficiency rate so capital efficiency is basically a cornerstone for dolomite raising so they achieve it through mechanism that allow liquidity to be recycled you know uh, across the multiple platforms and use cases so this approach uh, i would say basically provide users with the ability to maximize their returns by leveraging their assets right in several ways simultaneously uh they have uh you know you are all as we already told you are earning multiple yields right and now you know users basically can deposit assets into dolomite you know where they are lending uh interest rate so these assets can also be used to provide liquidity in amm pools you can have earning you have earning and trading fees additionally if the lp tokens from these pools are listed for lending and borrowing you know users can interest on those as well this layered approach you know basically you know to yield the generation ensures that users can derive maximum value from their holdings right third basically the most important point is layered uh, yield strategies cool so dolomite architecture you know uh, we have seen about m multiple yieldings you know but 
It also supports complex financial strategies and it allows users to stack multiple layers of yield generation on their initial deposit. So for example, for example, user can borrow against their deposited asset to acquire additional yield bearing asset. They can further you know, amplify the returns. This strategic flexibility empowers user to optimize their investment strategies and maximize their financial outcomes basically. Oh, one more amazing thing that they have done is they have made a uh, use of Arbitrium for it, right? You know, they have made use of Arbitrium. Let's uh, Arbitrium for it. You know, so why? Because it has a very low transaction cost, low cost, right? You know, advertising low gas fees enabled all to offer complex functionalities without a uh, prohibitive cost and it ensures a very smooth user experience even during a uh, high volatility time, right? and it has got a throughput which is higher throughput is higher right um so i made it wrong let me just change it a bit throughput is always higher right so arbitrum architecture arbitrum architecture support high transaction throughput which is essential for a platform like tolomite and it handles a very large volume of transaction right and it's a very complex financial operation and at the end of the day, what you need is a very thriving ecosystem. Now, the collaborative environment of Arbitrum ecosystem allows Tolomite to integrate numerous innovative projects. It helps it enhancing its utility and the future set. So, the synergy within the ecosystem fosters mutual growth and development. It creates a very vibrant and interconnected DeFi landscape. Uh, if we talk about the future of uh, this particular thing there's Tolomite, you know, this Tolomite is aiming to be a foundational pillar in DeFi space. They want to provide unmatched support for wide range of assets. They want to enable users to retain their DeFi native rights. So the future, I guess, holds like expanding the asset support. They want to enhance the user control. They want to have more innovative trading features, collaborative growth. So in conclusion, what I can say is, you know, see, Dolomite, already supposed you know to be a uh, to revolutionize the DeFi landscape with its innovative architecture strategy integrations it has user centric features uh, they are focusing on capital efficiency uh, broad asset support is already there you know and it has a very seamless user experience no you know and dolomite you know it aiming to unlock new levels of financial freedom and opportunity for its user so as the cornerstone of these DeFi ecosystem dolomite is you know already set you know to redefine the way users engage with the DeFi platform and it's providing them support for the wide range of assets it's enabling users to achieve their financial goals with the confidence and security so i guess there's more things that they can do is with the amms collateral management security compliances you know uh, community uh, i guess so it's really going good you know they already have the support with the Chainlink build program uh, so you know, ending it on a note is like Dolomite already stands at the cusp of the new era in decentralized finance, right? And it's innovative architecture, amazing integrations, right? So, Dolomite continues to expand its offering and capabilities. It aims, it's clear, you know, to become a functional, foundational pillar in the DeFi space. And platform future uh, development, you know, it include expanding asset support and all which we already talked about, they need to be more secure, they need to be more efficient, they need to be more user friendly. And I guess the way is for Dolomite is going to be really amazing. Let's see how the project performs in the long run as well. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. It was the second video of it. But yeah, there's going to be more videos coming in the particular series. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks a lot, guys.